What is up everybody? This is Shane the Rising Rim Picker and welcome to another video and I appreciate everyone's support and all the new subs I have gotten in the past few weeks to a week and I appreciate everyone's support and thank you very much. And so this 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 day we're going to be talking about what's sold on eBay and Amazon and more specifically um the last the the top 20 sales i've had not really top i've just picked out 20 random sales to kind of show you what sells and what sells really good so let's go ahead and dive into it and i'm gonna blow this up so i sold this book on amazon it is based on a story a memoir and it, it's sold for 1883 this is going to be mixed with amazon and also ebay sales so the next sale I actually had is another book it's called the 100 slash zero principle and I sold it for 15.95 and so this is uh, this is Amazon FBA keep in mind so I got these Ryan's world blind bag mystery bags and I've sold I don't even know probably 15 of them for 9.99 a pop I got them for $1.88 and uh, they were actually mispriced at Walmart. They had the wrong sticker. I bought 23 of them and they sold them all to me for $1.88. So that was definitely a good pickup. I'm probably going to make about 160 bucks total off that. They're 4,000 ranked. So a very, very good ranking. So I got these Call of Duty World War II special edition boxes. And uh, they have like mystery, like gifts and stuff in them. I actually got these for five dollars, and I sold this one for twenty one ninety four. I've actually sold, I think, two or three since I've actually since I've hit the warehouse, and I have like maybe six or seven more in stock. And I'm actually currently looking for other uh, stores. There's some other stores that have them around me, but they're fifteen dollars, so I'm waiting for them to go down to five, and I'm gonna scoop them up and sell them. At that point, the price may actually be a little higher. Uh, another book I sold on Amazon, School of Natural Healing, and this is a great sale. I had actually had two of these, and this one sold for fifty-seven eighty-six. Definitely, uh, all the books you see on here, most of them I have fifty cents to a dollar invested. Uh, Monopoly for Millennials. I had one hundred and twenty-six hit the warehouse. I sold all one hundred and twenty-six completely sold out. I had to take eight of them back and I kept two. I had to take eight of them back because um, what happened was the boxes were damaged and I didn't want to sell them on Amazon. I sold a bunch of them for $54.94. I sold some for $60, some for $59. It was really mixed, but I sold all 126 of those. Another Natural Healing. This is a, a different book, and I sold this for fifty-seven eighty-six once again. So over a hundred dollars in, in in total sales on two books that cost me a dollar a piece. So I sold this book. It's about cereal, and it's the Great American Cereal Book and how breakfast got its crunch. I sold it for forty nine ninety eight on Amazon FBA. I know it's a crazy book, and I don't even know why it sold like that, but all of them were, and it was just a great pickup. I picked this up at a garage sale for fifty cents. Killer profits in books. I'm telling you, killer profits in books. Uh, we got another book here. It's the Visual Introduction of Dynamical Systems, and I picked this up for fifty cents. It sold for sixty nine thirty five. And uh, so, yeah, definitely a amazing sale on this one as well. So going into some eBay sales, I have a Pokemon uh, second edition hardcover book I got for free and sold it for ten dollars and ninety eight cents. We have an American Girl doll clothing box accessory kit, and this I had it listed for thirty nine ninety five. I took a best offer for I think twenty two dollars, so and it shipped first class. Definitely really great profits on that. So I got a bunch of plush dolls, about sixteen of them, and I paid a dollar a piece, so sixteen dollars total, and they're all Disney store plush plush dolls. And I sold this one for twenty five ninety nine. Um, actually, I took a best offer for $24 even, and that actually recouped my entire investment in the 16 plushes. I have several up for $65, a couple uh, up for like $65, bucks, a few up for $30, $40. So I'm definitely going to make a ton of money on these plush dolls. I picked these up at a garage sale, like I said, for a dollar a piece each, about 16 of them. 
don't sleep on plush dolls. I'm telling you, plushes sell really, really good. So we have a Dragon Ball Z Super Deluxe Shooter thingy right here. I sold four of these. I actually sold two of these. This is why it's on here. It doesn't say it. It says four sold. I sold two of these for $16.50 a piece. So it was a little over $33 in sales. And these are selling kind of okay. I probably should have sent these into Amazon FBA. They would have definitely sold like crazy there. The rank was pretty decent. But they're only selling, they're selling for about 18 bucks. So I'm making a little bit more profit on eBay because I'm selling them on eBay. But overall, if I would have flipped them on Amazon, they would have sold a lot quicker and I would have really had my money back. I only have like three to four cents invested a piece. I cleaned out a whole Toys R Us store. I had like five gondolas of toys and I've sold most of them all on eBay. Um, I have a few things left, a few categories left, but I sold most of them on eBay, right? So I have this really good sale. It's a title of Scotty Cameron, California Del Mar right-handed putter. And I picked this up on offer. Actually, it was it was uh, let go for $120. And <clears throat> I took a best offer. I didn't sell it for $239. I took a best offer for $200 even. So I did profit a little bit. I actually overspent a little bit on this. But I probably around profited, you know, 50, 60, 70 bucks around there. Um, so I sold this. I picked this up for a dollar at a thrift store. And I sold this for $21.99. It's a collectible figure. It's uh, the Mage Knight Rebellion. And I have another one of these. It'll sell for probably 25 to 27 So here's a Disney Store plush. Another plush from that 16 buyout. I bought 16 of them, and this sold for $40. It did, I did not take a best offer. It just sold for straight 40 bucks. So I've already doubled my money on these plush dolls. This was actually new with tags. So I sold this vintage Chicago Bears NFL jersey, and it was probably 90s, and I sold it for 28 uh, I actually took a best offer for 22 on it. I had it listed for $28.90. The best offer was for $22. So it was okay. I mean, I only paid a couple bucks for it. So, I mean, it's a little bit of profit. But clothing clothing is like love-hate relationship kind of thing. Like a lot of clothing you will sell if you get the right stuff for decent profits. Some of it is lower. It just really depends. If you're going to go to the Goodwill bins and pick clothing out, be sure to list it. I have a ton of clothing I still have to list. And so really I have some plans for next year to really focus on Amazon more. So I'm going to be still listing on eBay. I'm still going to be sending pictures to my listers. Probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually send pictures twice a week and I'm going to take pictures through the week and then I'm going to just hunt on Amazon all weekend and travel and actually travel around and pick stuff up. I uh, sold this George Foreman button front. Uh, it, it was kind of a, a, a like a suede kind of feel material to it. And I sold it for actually I took the best offer for 20 bucks. And um, it has, uh, I had it listed for twenty seven ninety five. Had it a while, so I just took the best offer. Uh, did, did this Woolrich Navy Western button front, sold it. I think I took a best offer for 18 and had it listed up for twenty four ninety nine. I'm still trying to move some stuff out from my eBay and move older inventory out. Uh, another game, another book. Um, this was new sealed. I got it for free and sold it for $14.98. Um, full price and I only actually sold all of them so I, I have I sold both of these books so one for 10 and one for 14.98 so I made 34.98 off uh, both of these books that's total sales not profit obviously and that is all I have for this right here um, let me pull this back up really quick and make sure we're still going. So what I can tell you is when you're sourcing books for Amazon, just source the right ones. You definitely want to use Scout IQ to source stuff with, and that's a huge help for books. For eBay inventory, I, I get my inventory from thrift stores, auctions, estate sales, pretty much everywhere I can really find stuff to flip for profit. And so there's some places that you may not find a lot of stuff, um, you know, like retail arbitrage typically is not the best for eBay. It's usually better for Amazon, but 
you could also make a lot of money on retail arbitrage for eBay too. You just got to weigh the profits and you really got to dive into the solds and how much it sold for, how many times and look at the sell through rate on those items. Uh, like I, like, like I can tell you is, uh, eBay and Amazon are night and day. This, uh, so here's a little breakdown. Um, in the last 30 days on eBay, I've sold $2,000. Uh, so this month I'm about two grand on, in the last 30 days on Amazon, I've sold $8,190 and, um, and that's the last 30 days. And I've done over. I've actually done, let's see here, on Amazon, uh, in the last 30 days, I've done 217 orders, and on eBay, I've probably done 130, maybe 100, uh, maybe 100 orders on eBay. That's just a rough estimate. I'm not 100% on that in the last 30 days. It might have been, it might have been like 40 or 50. I've really been neglecting eBay to focus on Amazon and it shows because I was actually selling more on eBay before I started Amazon. And when I went to Amazon, it really flipped and now I'm selling way more on Amazon than I actually am on eBay. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and like I said, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and then also thank you so much for being an awesome, being awesome subscribers, supporting me in this journey. I really appreciate it. Uh, you, you all are very, very awesome, and I appreciate it, and I'm super humbled by it. So don't forget, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Peace out.